On the table is a 94 Jackson Dinky. The guitarist of my band, Stormtide, shameless plug, listen to our music, please. He asked me to hollow flash his girlfriend's guitar. I figured this would be the best opportunity to showcase the new gold hollow flash that I've just got into stock. In this video, I'll be showing you how to apply the hollow flash and a new technique that I've been working on. The Jackson is going to be replaced with all new hardware and electronics, so prepping this one was easy. To start off, I took a screwdriver to the back of the guitar and removed the screws holding the neck. I removed the rubber on the switch and depressed it into the cavity and gently lifted the knobs off of the pots and pushed those inside as well. The bridge had previously been removed, so all that was left was the electronics. I unscrewed the pickup rings and cut the pickups out. Now, let's go over what we'll be using to hollow flash the guitar. The hollow flash comes in two foot by four inch strips. As it moves, light bounces off it, allowing the hollow to flash in different ways. As I said before, it now comes in gold as well as silver. Two strips is enough to cover a standard guitar body. Three strips for a larger body like a bass. I'm using three strips here because I have something special in mind. We will also need a crafting iron, this is just the cheap one that I bought online. If you look on Amazon, I can link one in the description below. It's not an affiliate link, but it's what I use. Shellite or naphtha for the Americans. This is just for pre-cleaning the guitar before applying the flash. The baking or parchment paper is completely optional and I'll be demonstrating with and without and I'll explain why later. Finally, some paper towels just for cleaning. The hollow flash needs a smooth, glossy, polyurethane surface to adhere to. With your shellite or naphtha, apply liberally to the guitar body and wipe it clean with paper towels. Get all of the dirt off the guitar, leaving the finish as clean and free of debris as possible and make sure that it's dry. The hollow flash material has two sides. The top side is a plastic coating showing the coloured holographic flash and keeping it all together. The bottom side is a dull grey. This is the adhesive that chemically bonds to the polyurethane clear coat once heat is applied with the crafting iron. I went over the process of applying the hollow flash in a previous video which I've linked just above, but to go over it again, all you need to do is lay the hollow flash onto the guitar and with the crafting iron press down in small sections, hold it for a few seconds and slowly lift off. Alternate the directions of the strip to change the way the light refracts on the finish. If there are slight imperfections in the finish, you can use a piece of parchment paper in between the iron and the hollow flash to help apply even pressure so it properly adheres to the body. This is completely optional, but it's worth keeping some on hand if necessary. The hollow flash does not need a clear coat on top. Applying polyurethane clear on top will destroy the hollow flash, so don't do that. You can use water-based clears, but it isn't necessary and you will dull the flash. It is very hard wearing. To remove it, you will need to sand it off and it will take the finish underneath with it as well, so it is a pretty permanent application. In some cases, you may need to use just the edge of the iron to depress, especially on the finish where there's a wood join in the body you'll get like a one or two millimeter dip that you won't notice, but the iron won't stick to because the stuff is really, really thin. The leftover small sections on the plastic will be used later, so don't throw those away just yet. Regularly wipe down as you're going with a dry, clean paper towel to remove any extra residue and the tiny flakes of hollow flash that don't stick. The hollow flash itself is micron thin, so even when it's applied, it's going to feel pretty smooth to the touch. You're not going to feel big jagged edges, things like that. It will feel smooth. Here you can see I've got one strip down and half the guitar is covered in gold. Time to do the second half. After an hour of application and the guitar body is done. Two strips of hollow flash has covered the guitar. 
You could stop here, but I'm going to try something different. I'm going to chuck some silver onto it as well to break the gold apart. Then using the leftover gold scrap, I'll apply that back on top of the silver. I'm applying the silver hollow flash exactly the same way, directly on top of the gold. I'm focusing on small sections rather than full coverage. To clean the guitar body afterwards, only use dry paper towels or damp paper towels with water only. Don't use abrasives. Don't use any alcohol or chemical based cleaners because you will destroy the flash on top. Once I've finished with the silver, I've taken one of the scraps of gold and I'm applying the small leftover sections back on top of the silver, just to break the silver apart. After another 15 minutes, we're done. Take a look at the results. This looks absolutely phenomenal. If you're interested in doing this yourself, please follow this tutorial. It is easy to do. And follow the links in the description to my Etsy and Reverb stores where you can purchase it yourself. I ship fast and I ship globally. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.